in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I just request that you lend me your attention for the few minutes that I will have to share the Word of God. I believe in the power of the Word and you may have heard me teach that the Word of God in itself does not change. The Word of God in itself does not bring any miracle. Satan has never been afraid of the Word of God. Satan is afraid of what the union of the word and the faith of man can do the bible in the parable of the sower says that the seed is the word of god and satan himself came and took the seed and it did not have any effect on him the word had finished fasting filled with the spirit and the first person the word meets is satan and not even proximity with the words care satan he was conversing with the word and it did not destroy him the word on its own does not create any effect it is the supernatural activity of the faith of man that comes through understanding that causes the word to be potent is god blessing us already and so conferences like this are primarily please pay attention they are primarily encounters with the word that means that the dominant spirit that should flow in a conference like this is the spirit of wisdom and understanding capacity to comprehend because um dominion as you have learned i believe and you will be learning is a product of understanding in this kingdom your life revolves not around your desires but around the understanding 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 one of the biggest miracles that can happen to a believer is the miracle of understanding much more than the healing of your body much more than um, the greatest deliverance it's not even the casting of demons out of you but the deliverance that is preached he says to preach deliverance to the captives there is a level of liberty that does not come just by conducting prayer it comes by introducing truths that have the ability to alter your understanding and um, in Isaiah chapter 60 when you read the Bible says arise shine and there is a reason time is not the reason arise shine and it gives you the reason it says for your light is come not your light is around it's always been there but the day it comes to you then you will arise amplified puts it in an interesting way it says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you it says rise to a new light you connect this scripture with ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 the prophet was beckoned upon to rise and he did not have the strength and the capacity to rise and then verse 2 says and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and it set me upon my feet people do not rise just because they are tired of sitting it takes an agency of the spirit to lift men to higher dimensions and higher pedestrals are we together yeah so this conference is a system of upgrade organized by the man of god and the leadership to shift us not by desire not by the passage of time 
but by introducing truths and opening them up so that we comprehend we're going to pray just one prayer before i continue cry and ask the lord for the miracle of an understanding heart is a real miracle is a real miracle please pray it's a mere, real miracle please pray holy 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 is the lord god almighty you're the lord god almighty my life is full of your glory ah. this house is full of your glory and the people say holy 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 you're the lord god almighty his let it rain rain in us let the rain of your glory fall. let the weight of your glory fall acts chapter 20 and verse 32 says the apostle is teaching and he says i commend you to god listen to an apostle teaching now I commend you to God and then number two I commend you to the word of his grace and he says that it has capacity to build you up and then to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified so it's a handover service I hand you over to God and then number two I hand you over to the mysteries of the kingdom a body of spiritual knowledge and he says i can know you have accessed this truth by two results number one i see your capacity that you are built up and then number two that it can deliver to you in experience it is your inheritance but it must be delivered to deliver to you not another man's inheritance it is your inheritance but it must be delivered through understanding Paul teaching the church in Ephesus chapter 1 and the third verse he thanks the God of our father and then he says which had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ this is Paul teaching now he says that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings all spiritual blessings in Christ so we are not in the dark as to the benevolence of god his 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 determination to see the saints walk in the fullness of his life his power his possibilities is not something that the saints should doubt the bible is is full of god's propositions is full of his his commitment to the saints scattered all through scripture is god's vow his covenant his commitment to see to it that the saints walk in the full expression of the reality of the life of god are we together now 
it matters as simple as it sounds it is the premise upon you see faith is built upon knowledge and understanding until you are aware of the will of god colossians chapter 1 please if you read from verse 9 and 10 paul is teaching the church in Colossae, and he describes the dimensions of knowledge that he seeks for them to be filled with Colossians chapter 1 when you read from verse 9 he says for this cause also is projected since the day we heard do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye be filled with three things number one the knowledge of his will so the apostle desires that we be filled that means your life will be barren if the knowledge of the will of God is not captured in your Christian experience number two he says to be filled with all wisdom do you know why he said all wisdom because wisdom like love has dimensions and that he wants every dimension and facet of wisdom to be captured in your Christian experience and then number three he says spiritual understanding so he's praying that the church be filled with the knowledge of the will of god number two to be filled with wisdom and then number three to be filled with spiritual understanding and i believe that this is one of the the desires in the heart of the man of god even for this conference hebrews chapter two let's see how far you may sit thank you thank you you may sit thank you hebrews chapter two please Paul again is teaching and he now borrows the expression that the psalmist communicated many years ago and this is where I want to build my teaching on tonight please I want just lend me and lend your destiny your attention are we together now let's go to verse 6 the sixth verse Paul is teaching and then he borrows from the psalm of David he says but in a certain place we know where that certain place is he said he testified saying what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that thou visitest him next verse it says thou hast made him a little lower than angels the word there is elohim it's not angelio is the word god you have made him a little lower than god are we together now and he's just speaking in terms of the the stratification of sovereignty he says that you have made him a little lower than god then he says you have crowned him with glory and honor and you have set him over the works of your hands you want to understand this you must understand the blessing of joseph this was what potiphar i mean a pharaoh the pharaoh set joseph over the work of his hands and said that in nothing you are greatest except by office so the bible says in that similitude he set him over the works of his hands and then he says that um go to the next verse please thou has put all things in subjection under his feet and then he says for in for in that you put all things in subjection under his feet he left nothing everybody said nothing say it again say nothing that is not put under his feet that means everything was put under the feet of man but here is our discussion everybody say but one more time say but but now stop there let me teach on this but now this is a very powerful revelation there are always two dimensions in the dealings of god with men please listen carefully there is the prophetic dimensions of the speaking and the dealings of god realities from his standpoint in god's standpoint and in god's world there is no past present future that reality does not exist there's no such thing as tomorrow i will see no god does not have a tomorrow he is not alpha and omega the word and was an error in translation he is alpha omega he's not the beginning and the end no you see him at the beginning and at the end at the same time listen carefully if there is a time lapse in god then he cannot be omnipresent he cannot be omniscient there cannot be a time he can't be limited by time it's not a possibility that should be captured in his description are we together now and so he's speaking here 
he is saying that you did not put there was nothing but he says but now that means in experience listen carefully so prophetically from the foundations of the earth the lamb had been slain but until jesus came we had not seen that experience prophetically you have been made rich but now mm -mm, mm -mm, we have not seen that experience according to god's mind and his reality his economy nobody should be sick nobody should fail nobody should be deprived of experiencing the fullness of god but paul the apostle is not he's not he's not um he's not careless to omit this dimension but now but now in experience in our reality captured within our experience he says we see not yet i like the word yet if he just said we see not he would have been in error but he said we see not yet there is a process that will match prophecy and experience together and this is what this conference has come to teach that between thus saith the lord and it came to pass there is a system and we must learn what connects prophecy and experience are we together the fact that god said it does not mean it must come to pass it listen let me tell you god is not only god because his words come to pass whether his words come to pass or not he is still god you, you have to understand this the the inability of god's word to, co coming to pass is not enough reason to frustrate his being god there are many other qualities that still keep him as god the same way when a student fails one question out of 10 it doesn't give him an f he can still get a are we together no god does not fail don't get don't un, misunderstand what i'm saying but then i'm saying the 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 his word coming to pass is not the only thing that makes him god there are many reasons why he is god one of it is that the earth is the lord's and his fullness thereof he is god because he is owner he was not borrowed he was not voted he is god the bible says in the beginning not from the beginning notice he never said from the beginning god created in the beginning a space defined for the sake of your understanding but now this is what we are discussing but now we do not yet see i search the scripture and i find that i was young and now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken and his seed beg for bread but now I do not yet see that word as a reality i search the word and i see that no inhabitant in zion shall say i am sick but now as it is in experience i still find out that our environment is being plagued with infirmity and all kinds of things i i find out in scripture that there is a possibility for restoration that in the economy of god men can even time can be restored he said i will restore the years not just the things i can restore time that when a woman is supposed to have one child per year or per two years and she's already eight years god can give triplets in one year and compress nine years in nine months it's a system of restoring time favor is a system incorporated in the economy of god to help men gain time Are we still together mm. but now we do not yet see all things under his feet so what is our assignment our assignment is to find out to be like the Bereans to be like the Magi who saw the star and began to search diligently what meaneth these things our assignment is to borrow the lens and the wisdom of the spirit to begin to search what is the reason behind the the inactivity of god's prophetic speakings over my life and your life because you see dominion happens when the experience of the victory of christ the experience of the lordship committed to men 
is established here and now dominion is territorial it can be seen it should be seen are we together now yes but now we see not yet all things under his feet the kingdom of god is a kingdom of systems everybody says systems when god speaks he speaks on the strength of the systems that he has allocated L let me let me put it this way let me put it this way i, I hope we're still together now please i want you to understand what i'm teaching you there are three dimensions and three levels of experiencing the power of god i think i should do it that way the power of god is what is responsible for any result experienced by men that if at any point in your christian experience you have any result that is not given for mere men to experience it was sponsored by the power of god do we agree and do we understand that means that it's not supposed to be a usual thing for a man to recover what he lost and if that recovery is captured in your experience the power of god sponsored it do you understand me it is not a normal thing for man in himself to be able to defeat principalities and powers and so if your life commands um, um commands a level of victory it is because his power has made it so just follow me let me establish something and we pray tonight the bible puts it this way apostle peter is teaching now and then he says his divine power please listen carefully his divine power in fact he starts by saying grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge so grace and peace can be multiplied through the knowledge are we together now and then he says according as his divine power so this is the agency that is responsible for results in the kingdom what is it called his divine power please everybody say his divine power you have to understand this faith is a mechanism of connecting to his divine power the agency for results in the kingdom is his divine power and the bible says that his divine power hath given us all things so what gave us all things the things we are trying to access now they are sponsored by his divine power are we together his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness just hold it there so it is true that his divine power is responsible for every result that we get in this kingdom now there are three levels of experiencing his divine power i just need to establish this and then we'll quickly tie up what i'm teaching the first level to experience his divine power is called encounters that a personal encounter is also a platform for accessing his divine power an encounter is a supernatural experience that crystallizes the reality of a person or a thing to your spirit it doesn't have to be visionary but it must be supernatural divine encounters so when men met with god in scripture the, the residue of that encounter left them with tremendous dimensions of power number two number two the second platform for receiving and accessing his divine power is activating the laws and the principles of the kingdom there is a dimension of god's power that was vested in his laws please you have to understand this that without any personal consent to god the his divine power has been preset in his laws that by activating them you can experience a dimension of possibilities whether you believe in god the owner of the power or not there are dimensions of his power already vested in his laws that's why even if an arm robber farms the crop will not refuse to grow because his divine power the agency that makes for result was deposited in that law and the integrity of god is upon that law i don't know if we understand this it is upon this strength 
that unbelievers although they may refuse and deny the reality of the person christ they have mastered through through study and through experiment they have come to piece together a few laws that are responsible for certain levels of dominion and the power of god is the force behind it otherwise it will not work even the herbalist uses the power of god because no man can have any power except it is of god once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power what happens is in the shrine is a manipulation of spiritual laws by the operation of familiar spirits they tap into the higher spiritual laws and it can afford a a level of receiving god's power but not authorized by the holy spirit that's why it does not glorify god there are other spirits the holy spirit is not the only spirit who has access to the energy and the laws of the spirit there are other spirits even human spirits can be developed enough higher than the three-dimensional realm to access some level of possibilities that's why when moses came from the presence of god and met his half brother who had now become the pharaoh of egypt and threw his rod pharaoh called on janice and jambers and they did the same thing so where did that come from once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power his divine power are we still together now so his divine power released through encounters his divine power released by activating spiritual principles by activating the laws that he has put there are people who will never call upon the name of the lord and yet they will never fail it's amazing no matter how you wish their failure they have surrounded themselves by god's own law and they have tapped into the protectiveness of his integrity by reason of surrounding themselves they keep themselves within the ambience of his laws so although they are not born again they have good families because they have kept the laws that have that have been made for peace although they will not call upon the name of the lord they continue to excel even in recession his divine power i testify i testify that your goodness is real i testify i testify that your favor is real your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real that will be someone's song after this conference listen you will stand and you will watch life like a chess because when you are equipped with the mysteries of the kingdom then the haphazard nature of life will suddenly square up into a synergy you will see that life is predictable as scattered as it is is because of the limitation of your perception when the word of god gives you clarity you will no longer see men like trees you will be able to see the details and the dimensions that make for dominion hallelujah are we together the third level very quickly the third level or the third dimension where we can access the power of god now listen you have to get this one is by your aligning to a vessel that has a covenant with god that allows for certain possibilities it is not always your personal faith it is not always your personal press god's desperation to see that you experience the fullness of him allowed him to give a lot of options to make sure you don't miss it and one of it is the possibilities in your life by reason of your aligning to a man who through sacrifice has made a covenant with god god called abraham alone and lot went with him lot was not called but lot followed him and lot began to receive certain levels of benevolence when lot detached from abraham it was clear that it was not his personal press 
that means that it is possible to be in this church and even before you learn the principles of prosperity you started prospering and you yourself you are wondering why you are breaking the rules and yet you are growing even before you came into that understanding because a man who has a covenant with god the system of the cover like the ark of noah is able to protect the animals the animals did not pray for safety they only entered the ark that belonged to noah I testify, testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Please sit down. Do you understand what I just taught so far? Let me tell you, even if we share the grace here now, some of you will run home and say, I found it. I found it. I've, I've seen i've seen where his divine power is not finding expression in this family mm. a certain time came when a man's donkey called saul or kish and his son saul for three days brothers and sisters he searched he would have gone back and said god cannot restore but he said we have done our best with all the faith we have let us locate a man that has the eyes and the grace that can see as soon as Saul's eyes looked at Samuel the donkey started going back home no prayer no prophecy you make contact with a human not an angel and the donkey returns back let me tell you this challenges are not generic it depends on the grace confronting it listen to me let me say it again challenges are not generic just because you have tried and you have exhausted your spiritual knowledge should not make you build a theology around your failure to mean that that mountain is insurmountable there are graces that will trivialize that problem as if it does not exist your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real. So sit down. Let, let's tie up something. You won't believe that I've not even started my sermon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll pray. I, I will not keep us unnecessarily long. We'll pray. Wherever we stop, the Spirit of the Lord will help us. Listen. Sincerely speaking, my goal here is not to come and excite you my goal is to make life predictable to be able to walk in the experience of dominion and then you become a true ambassador not just of the kingdom but of this church that that a, a particular trend of results will brand the members of this church that you will not need to ask immediately you see it you say that's it is their identity when david wanted to fight saul asked him a question whose son are you where do you come from because every tribe should have an identity that represents the possibilities that they walk in hallelujah so we have we have established the fact that it is his divine power that is responsible for the possibilities that we see in the kingdom and then we have established the three platforms for receiving it that one is a personal encounter number two is you're activating the laws of the kingdom are we together now and then three your alignment to vessels that have a covenant with god there are people god has sworn to do certain things to them and god will honor them and honor you too for their sake a covenant was entered in the temple in jerusalem that anyone who faces that direction it didn't talk about the accuracy of the prayer the moment you face that direction god you are bound to answer so when they wanted to destroy daniel it was a risk to try to guess whether he would get it right he opened the window to face jerusalem to remind god that god this one now it is not just my knowledge of you i'm, I'm not ready to take this risk we are talking of death here there are dimensions that are too risky 
for you to tread your personal knowledge of god may be too limited and the danger that stands before you may not give you a second chance at that time you have to tap into a possibility that is bound by covenant there are men that god has vowed that anybody they pray for he will answer even if they are wrong he will answer and punish them in the secret place I hope you get what I'm saying. So our possibilities in the kingdom is not just dependent on the finished work of Christ alone. It's not just dependent on the love of God. It's dependent on these truths that I teach you. Let's go to Job chapter 38, please. Let's begin to walk these truths now. What then is the limitation? but now we do not yet see but now we do not yet see apostle i saw in my vision that god spoke to me that this would be a year of dominion i saw it in the vision that i was rising but as it is now it looks like this has been my worst year yet hold on help is coming help is coming Job chapter 38. Job was at a point in his life. Let's follow please. Job was at a point in his life when he was frustrated. I hope you understand the context of Job. That Job was crying, crying and lamenting over the predicaments that had come upon him. He gathered together his friends and they began to attempt to solve the dilemma. Why would a man who feared God and eschewed evil, why would a man who was the richest in the in the east the great called him great are we together now he says that in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord were upon my tabernacle then he began to describe certain things that the young men will see him and bow the old men will stand he accessed certain truths now this man had been reduced to ashes there has to be an explanation and job is saying god come and explain to me my friends have done their best but they are limited they came and sat down and their conclusion was that i sin against you there has to be something and there is a lesson there 33. Hmm. your goodness is real i testify please give us verse 33. let this be a secret oh god that will never depart from our lives these are the systems of dominion please read with me if you're a christian one two read knowest thou the ordinances of heaven question one hold on don't rush question two let's continue can't thou set no no you go back please just leave it 33 is the only verse knowest thou the ordinances of heaven uh-huh read on please can't thou set the dominion thereof in the earth stop this is god asking job because job began to speak arrogantly and he, in his anger god came down and said i have a question job do you know the ordinances of heaven do you know what an ordinance is the preset modus operandi of a territory or a system do you know the system by which heaven operates that i never have to leave the throne room yet no disobedience dwells in heaven do you know the principle that is responsible for the excellence and the dexterity in heaven that iniquity is judged immediately without me standing up from the throne hmm. and then he says if you know it can thou set can thou reproduce those principles within your territory have you sustained the intelligence to transfer the principles that bring order in heaven to your atmosphere but now we do not yet see knowest thou the ordinances of heaven that do you know why the worship of heaven is the way it is and have you mastered the art of replicating that possibility within your territory do you know why heaven is a place of 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 order 
satan is not there yet order continues to be the prevalent thing there and can you establish it that means listen if god can help us to answer this question in this conference we are ready to walk in dominion this is the diagnosis precious people of god this is why god put this conference together knowest thou the ordinances of heaven do you know the system by which a business thrives do you know a system by which men access superior dimensions of the power and the grace of god everything will look like a mystery until your understanding about it is opened that's why i told us to pray for a miracle of understanding when jesus came notice how he empowered the people he spent three and a half years teaching them the principles of the kingdom are we together now and in chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching them matthew now 13 and verse 11 jesus said to them he said they were asking him why he would speak in parables you know to the people and then when he came to them he no longer spoke in parables and then he gave them an answer he says because it is given everybody say it is given to me it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom the ordinances of heaven is what jesus calls the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven he says to them it is not given i will continue to teach this you see a mystery is a hidden code of operation it is a it's a system a modus operandi that is privy to a group of people that means that if you are outside of that circle you are not given an opportunity to understand the dynamics of that communication so i can for instance come to the house of our father your pastor and our mother can there can be a communication going on between two of them and yet um, it's unfruitful to me they can be discussing bring orange juice yet they are not talking because a system has been defined until you are a husband and wife you are not given to understand that mystery so in the kingdom there is a coded manner of operation that is given to the saints this is our advantage it is the strength of this that makes us a chosen generation and a royal priesthood the bible says we have been called into his marvelous light a body of truth that is privy to a generation that will set them apart remember as we'll be learning that gentiles come to your light not to you they don't need you there's nothing so much in you it is your light and their kings never come to your light their kings are proud so they come to the brightness of your rising kings don't come to light no when they hear of your result they keep watching from afar consistency is a proof that you have gained mastery and the bible says no man strives for mass every man who strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully are we together the mysteries of the kingdom dominion therefore is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom alongside the strategy for their activation that is dominion dominion is not a wish it's not even an impartation dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the ways of god the mysteries of the kingdom then you are given the keys that can activate them then you will turn every environment to reflect heaven this is dominion the keys the keys the keys that a man can be sitting on a wheelchair please look up everybody a man can be sitting on a wheelchair bound and you can come as a man or a woman of god remember you are born again remember the same lord is rich unto all and yet you will pray for that person and call the name of jesus remember you are not a herbalist remember you are not fake remember you are in christ genuinely remember you probably have even seen jesus and yet you lay hands on that person and then the person just looks at you and even you you know that nothing is going to happen there is nothing you have done that is supposed to be wrong yet there is no result to show 
and the same man is taken for instance to a benihin crusade and benihin is just walking around the stage and the man gets up what is responsible for that unfair unfair scenario are we together let me give you another example that you can be in this same abel kuta and you are complaining that times are hard and there are no open doors and yet another person can come into this city and every good thing like a magnet starts looking for him what is responsible please i, I need you to understand are, are you getting blessed i'll find someone and will pray but i want you to walk out tonight with you see it is wisdom and knowledge that becomes the stability they are stabilizers fear is a product of ignorance or inaccurate understanding you don't always drive fear by casting it out you can drive fear by stabilizing your understanding hallelujah so the systems the tragedies that we see in our lives and all the things that call for the power of God they can and should be solved on the strength of the truths that we know are we together let me tie up something please three or four gentlemen just rush come here quickly 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 let's celebrate them as they come any three or four gentlemen just come stand in a straight line here i like to teach illustratively because it will help you to understand thank you sas thank you sas just stand everybody watch this the kingdom is a compendium of infinite possibilities that the dealings of men with god does not allow for limitations are we together now now don't worry whether it has not yet been captured in our lives that's why we're here in this conference remember that your personal experience is not enough to create a verdict around god god forbid but if i die of sickness today it does not change god being a healer my personal experience about god is too small a reason god has he has a track record that is more than the lifetime of one man so my limitation is too small a reason to give god a new inferior identity his word has been tested seven times so whether or not the things that we are teaching have been captured in your life yet it doesn't matter your assignment is to believe that this possibility still exists are we together now watch this let's call this restoration let's call this financial prosperity let's call this um supernatural empowerment by the spirit let's call this speed all of these possibilities are present in the dealings of god with men now the dimension that is captured in your life or not captured notwithstanding is that it is true that in the dealings of god with men these possibilities exist are we together now yes so my life can be in need of restoration and i read in the bible that god is able to restore but i do not understand the systems that have been put in place to make my life capture that dimension let me tell you the tragedy of prolonged failure it will force you to build a theology around it and sadly it can even cause you to begin to raise other people after the order of your limitation to mean that god is unable that's why i was I, i'm so blessed by the heart of the man of god that you can allow people to expand to the possibilities that exist you know that this is one of the challenges in the body of christ we trivialize dimensions we have been unable to capture in our lives so if i've done my best and this word of knowledge thing is not working i just make it look like it's not important no no just because the experience is in my life there are people who like 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 um our daddy shared will hate every blessed man do you know why because they secretly tried to to prosper they did it quietly and i mean the way the thing didn't work they tried again and it didn't work and then they just conclude that look this thing doesn't work and so every time they see another man's result it reminds them that they don't have an excuse and that reaction is what is coined as criticism 
it's important to love critics because you have to understand put yourself in their shoes it's not easy success has a side effect are we together now look at this there are people who your prayer is oh god prosper me i love you i know that money will not take your place in my life my pastor has taught me already to love you more than the things of this world so lord it, it is not the fear of leaving you i just need to prosper and god says this dimension is available and my benevolence my divine power so this is a possibility in my economy i prosper men i don't only use them i don't only make them um born again and filled with the holy spirit i don't just use them i'm a benevolent king yet your entire lifetime may not be able to capture this possibility there are some other people that are praying oh god i'm a man of god i want to see results in my life i want to see results in my ministry i want a superior investment of the hand and the power of the spirit upon my life i want access to revelation insight miracles signs and wonders and god will tell you this is a possibility in my dealings but you see just knowing that it is a possibility is more frustrating than ignorance that means to know that something is supposed to be in your life is like i'm hungry and then you grill turkey and just keep it in front of me and create a system to ensure i keep seeing it but never taste it versus someone who is sick in the hospital who does not even know that anything is around you can imagine that is the experience of many believers and that is the seed for compromise because when you are aware that's why it's important and 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 and, and let me borrow on the grace of our father to just talk to some of us who are men of god here it is important to trust god for the grace dimension of every revelation we carry so that we not only propose we can demonstrate the reality of the things that we have otherwise we'll continue to propose dimensions in the kingdom and stare the appetites of the people like the tree in the experience of jesus green leaves but no fruit and then when they come i know god can bless i know god can heal i know god can lift i know god can give a job i know that god brought bread in samaria overnight but where is that god today but now we do not yet see all things ah my god somebody will stand after this conference listen you will watch doors open and you you yourself you will not know where to start the testimony from listen what i tell you is true it's not just a blind prophecy what you are receiving there are two things happening to you you are receiving spiritual information but much more than that there is the engracing that is behind it remember the spirit enters you when you are spoken to and it can set you up on your feet so that by tonight it is possible that a man you have been trying to reach for five years and you are not able to reach that man and by the end of the night he calls you and then you don't just say you are lucky no something was engaged in the realm of the spirit and the result showed it are we together dominion systems i'll stop here so that we'll pray i hope that by tomorrow i'll be able to share with us specifics as it relates to certain dimensions of our lives but it's sufficient for us to know that there is an explanation behind every tragedy that in spite of the fact that the truths of god's word reveal that certain possibilities should be captured in our lives if they are not yet captured the problem is not from god there is a requisite level of knowledge there is a requisite level of knowledge psalms 82 and verse 5 says they know not neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high then verse 7 says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes there are things that if you do not know it reduces you to a mere man your immunity is in your understanding Are we together 
there is something you can know that no weapon fashion against you shall prosper you can know it just in theory and find yourself becoming a victim of every attack but there is what you can know in reality and you know you are secured there is what you can know that you can program i i pray that i pray that god grants the grace and we have the time tomorrow um i would like to share i hope that among the dominion systems god will grant grace let me teach a bit on favor that is very powerful favor is not for people who want to be rich favor is for anybody who truly wants time to serve god the the system of this world makes it such that even your lifetime is not enough to solve your problems and give you time to spend on your assignment your lifetime is too small the the level of transformation and the result that they bring will will exhaust your lifetime and you will not have the time to focus on the things that matter and so god interjected this possibility in his dealings with men where you can gain time and have access to the things that are the dreams of men to allow you the time because all we really have is time a dying man does not ask for more money a dying man does not ask for more education he will ask for more time ask hezekiah the request of a dying man is time that means whatever steals your time poverty is not an attack on you it's an attack on time are we together delay is not an attack on you it's an attack on time what you call your destiny is god's purposes through the time he has given you anything that attacks your time is a real attack anything that attacks your time really attacked you when jesus came he redeemed time three and a half years and he was done lo i come in the volume of the book he said i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day you don't walk any time you want there is a time are we together if you build a house at 60 praise the lord but it's not a testimony that's a sign of mercy it's not a testimony if you get born again at 70 years it's, it's not good news we thank god you are making it in heaven but i mean you, you have not you have not maximized your stay what satan hates is time and understanding and passion for god no you can't have three like that so you prosper but he will make sure your soul does not prosper and he says i wish above all things that ye be in health and prosper even so when satan wants to bless you he transacts business with your soul give me your soul and i will give you everything in time the commodity is not products and services is your soul that's what he told jesus bow to me let me have access to your soul and i will give you everything you try to be blessed and let satan hear your prayer lord you know what i would do for the kingdom you know that by the time i have a company for instance of my own lord you know that 30 percent of the entire estate will be dedicated in kingdom advance satan will program something to distract you do you know that in in egypt while they began to pray and advocate for an exodus take us from this land we want an exodus what did pharaoh do he said it's because we are giving you free straw the remaining time you have that's what you are using to seek god so he said occupy them stop giving them straw so that they will not even have time again to call on god every time the devil sees that the saints want to rise he will manipulate time and do something in it and it will reduce you back imagine a family praising the lord on a tuesday a weekday you just decided to stake out time and worship and roll on your carpet most people will look at you and say you you want to die of hunger satan has done something to time that has destroyed men our generation says no time no time no time no time 
we don't have time to seek him we don't have time to worship we don't have time to know him we don't have time to study and intimacy is a product of time you need to understand that when we talk about dominion it's not just a carnal obsession for prosperity or power or all of these things it's a system that grants us access to gain time so that we can do much for the kingdom within the time that is allocated are we together now what dimension is in the dealings of god but not yet in your life what dimension apostle have tried to apply for a job even god knows i agree and i bless god for you but what if i told you there was something in the economy of god that 21 days is too far for you to get a job you see that chances are you will even feel offended because you will say master we have toiled all night just because you toiled all night should not make jesus powerless he still says cast your net your toiling does not change my power let me leave us with a word tonight please roll away that stone that stone that you used to cover the grave that they put lazarus roll it because something is about to come out of that grave there are situations that you have concluded in your life you said look um i just thank god i already know that this marriage i made a mistake and that's it it's going to be like that for life no roll away that stone when jesus shows up let me tell you my brothers and my sisters he makes prophecy become your experience it no longer becomes what you said or what he said or what was in the word but it now becomes your experience there are certain people here who have even concluded that you can never walk in certain levels of grace and in the anointing you've done your best you fasted you've prayed and you've just concluded that god just selected a few people roll that stone and watch what god does in your life that they will look at you and say is saul also a prophet when did this happen and you say in this dominion conference i just came home i was invited i sat quietly and as soon as i went back home i just greeted my man i said mommy how are you i came back from a conference and just because of that handshake she had 10 miracles before going to bed and even you you are wondering what what's happened what did i receive dominion as a product of your understanding knowing the ways of god even the anointing you see this anointing you see is it doesn't just function haphazardly no no there are laws there are systems there are principles favor has principles sir one of the greatest needs of believers second only to their passion for god is the need for the favor of god upon their lives many people i submit to you have not experienced favor what they have experienced is breakthrough not favor what many people call favor is breakthrough favor is not favor until it is repeated if it happened only once is breakthrough hmm. <laughs> Ah. do you believe what you have heard tonight yes, so finally i can know that i found a way that in this conference i found a way lord so speed can come to my life i got born again at 30 years and now i'm 50 i thought that time has gone but you are now letting me know that years can be restored that you can do something before the end of 2019 i i almost gave up and now you are bringing me good news what is good about the news if it does not bring dominion what is good about the news if your limitations remain if your limitations veto the power of god what then is the excellency of his lordship hmm. praise the lord that someone who has not been able to go to school you've written jam so many times 10 times 11 times and then the power of god now comes to assist you and you will see a result that you too you know you go back to God and say, God, this is your result. Oh, come and go to the university because this one is not what I, I know what I wrote. 
Ah, his divine power. 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 I've been barren for years, I know, but his divine power. Listen, while you are looking for a child, God wants to give you a nation. Listen, when you give birth to one child, and because of that one child, a businessman you have been trying to see for five years comes to visit you. Is that a child? You, you get birth to more than a child. With all your adulthood, you could not call that man. And a child calls three kings to come and bring gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Is that a child? Who would have called the attention of the Magi? God will not just give you a child. Oh God, give me a certificate and God says, I will give you. But can I put something on it for you? Oh God, give me a ministry. And God says, no, I, I want to give you influence over systems and territories. Where your name becomes a key to the destinies of men. It's not only at the mention of Jesus' name. Even your own name, as they mention it, doors too can open. It's not demeaning the name of Jesus. There are men on earth who are gatekeepers. Their names are keys. There are some enemies that are not castable. You can't cast them. God will make favor in their heart for you. That's how you pass that gate. There are people that are not castable. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, there are some enemies that he makes to favor you. How do you cast Pharaoh? When even God saw him fit to have a dream. No other person could have the dream and God still used him. How do you cast Cyrus? There are men that are not castable. When God wants you to penetrate through them, God will grant favor. These are the systems of the kingdom. Are we ready to pray? We'll just pray. Please, I like our hearts to be open in this conference. I believe speakers after speakers have come and, and building up and the conference is about wrapping up right i know many of you are here and all that is in your mind now is power oh god let this thing come relax don't worry uh, when when you pour oil on a closed container you waste it the oil must be the container must be opened and prepared when the woman said i had nothing except the oil was listening to the conversation you are calling me nothing the oil was listening to the conversation between the woman and the prophet and the prophet said go and borrow vessels you don't borrow oil but you borrow vessels it says borrow not a few that's what god is doing expanding you so that when the grace comes that before next week sunday you will sit there in front of the church waiting for the church to be open and say why are you here i have to, i have a testimony i have a testimony I have a testimony ah, are you so desperate i have a testimony you just hear it first mm. are we blessed we are going to pray so is it okay if we take five minutes to pray we are really going to pray oh. praise the lord please rise up on your feet They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. And all the earth are out of course. But have I not said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. Where you are standing, I'd like you to join hands with someone. And I'd like you to pray and declare, enough is enough. This dimension this level of life i declare that enough is enough lord it is time to arise it is time to shine are there people of prayer Shh. 
Shada branda ka sada balaka tosha bredegedes. Kaparado sata branda ka tosha labrakatas. Karusa ziaka tapra hasa degada balas. Krato sada barata katabala daba. We are contending for higher levels in life, higher levels in the spirit, higher levels in life, higher levels of ministry, higher levels of prosperity, higher levels of increase, higher levels of the power of God, higher levels of influence. Are you praying? that the doors that have refused to open this is a conference that will open them up is someone praying that the dimensions in my life and your life the dimensions that have defied the power of God Few minutes and we're done for tonight. Saleka paroka to siaraba. Pray. Lord, I insist. My family must arise. My destiny must arise. Kaparotoshia. That dimension of grace that I have sought and sought and sought for years in prayers and fasting the Davidic order of psalmistry it must arise in my life pray Please pray. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hold on, please. Please, just permit me. I thought we'd do this tomorrow, but I'm already seeing the angels of the Lord in this place. Let me just speak to a few people and we're done. I'm seeing a grace for speed. Listen carefully. Please listen. A grace for speed is coming on a few people. And please listen. Whether or not you are an usher for the purpose of this prayer, please, I, I apologize if I break any protocol. But you are going to see people running by the Spirit out of their control. I want you to hold them and just guide them here. Can I pray? Because that grace must come upon someone. This, this limitation, this limitation. I stretch my hands. I'm praying now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that grace and that anointing right now, I stretch my hands. Let it fall upon as many people. Bring them out, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Speed. 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 Please bring them. Help them. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. Be your brother's keeper. If there's someone under the anointing there, just help them. Shalabarakoti Just a few minutes and we are done. Speed! I declare no delay again. I come by the road of a higher priesthood. I shift you by the Spirit. Step into a new dimension. Step into a new level. 
step into a new level i release speed the highest praise to the king we bow down we bow down the deepest worship to the king we give you the highest the highest praise to the king we're rounding up I apologize I, I'm just ministering as the Lord is revealing to me the Lord is showing me that there are families here right now as I'm speaking that I'm seeing like chains on people's feet and the Lord is saying these are limitations upon families but right now I'm declaring by the power of the Holy Spirit I command a release now I can help them please help them my God I command a release now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command a release now. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. How else will you know that he came? How else will you know that he's changing you? Hallelujah. In one minute, if you will allow, please whatever must live your life in this conference please open your mouth and cry it as a prayer whatever must live your life lord i stand under the grace of our father you pray everything that must live your life as a testament to the entire please hold the lady hold her usher hold her please we're rounding up we're rounding up you came for a conference to meet jesus it's a conference that speaks dominion over the works of your hands dominion over the things that you are involved with hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah the man of god that ministered in songs i don't know if he's coming here tomorrow but can i pray for you i i don't know you have never met you but your life is about to change i'm looking at you and i'm seeing three things one i'm seeing a plane taking you out of this nation i'm seeing you in uk the lord is taking you to uk to minister i'm seeing you go I'm planning to go you are planning to go to UK I, I don't know that's what I'm saying I'm seeing you in UK by the Spirit of God number two I'm seeing a strange dimension of the prophetic grace and the healing grace these twin dimensions your your worship will take a strange level of the prophetic this is what I'm seeing and this will spill over to your team and i'm seeing a gentleman he's he's a new i don't know if he's it's like a new drama that god is bringing for you i want to pray for you so is it okay that i just speak over his life and i will pray for you and you're, you're a guest who i believe and i i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you're not embarrassed at all i just want to well um I, I pray for you and i pray for them we have to wrap up but the lord just i don't know if you come tomorrow but i'm seeing this this man i don't know him i'm seeing him for the first time but the kind of grace that i see that is coming upon this man of god is going to be a grace a prophetic dimension a very strong prophetic dimension and then a strong healing anointing i pray for you sir in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god let that grace an anointing is coming on your hands as i speak to you in jesus name step into that level of grace step into that dimension and i pray for your team you are experiencing the hand of god in the name of jesus christ please bring for me the lady that shouts under the anointing now loud to the hearing of everybody the power of god is coming on a lady right now please bring the person hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah 
Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. The Lord says, I should speak to you, my dear, for your family. He said, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. God is losing you. That's what God is saying. There is a chain that has held your family for decades. And the Lord is saying you are being set free. Listen. Please listen. Please listen. Whether you are a member of this church or not, please. Tomorrow is not just the issue of this service. Is God coming to a city to set men free? Please. Whatever you will do to bring your loved ones and tell them, look, look, look. I don't mean to dishonor any man's ministry or whatever. Please don't misunderstand me. But I'm telling you this. This is a visitation. God is using this church and this conference to visit this land. There are people you know who should be here. While God is ministering to others, you are saying, ah, I wish this person were here. Please, even if it means using your car to help and carry them to say, come, I will give you free bus transport. That tomorrow you are here even if you are going to sit on the roof tomorrow because there's no space it's better to sit there and receive there are kairos moments in our lives where if you have the discernment to see that this is god's visitation don't be like jacob in chapter 28 of genesis that the lord was in this place and i knew not father we thank you for tonight we bless you for your spirit we thank you for your hand I pray for everyone under the anointing who has come out for various reasons i declare that for whatever miracle it is that the lord separated you i establish it now in the name of jesus Amen. that lady wearing yellow and black something is leaving her chest there is a chest condition that god is healing out of this very lady with yellow and black I declare i'm seeing something that looks like a shadow just coming out from her chest i don't know what chest related issue you have but you are being healed right now you are being healed right now by the power of the holy spirit a number of you will go back checking yourselves and you'll find out that the infirmities that you came here with are completely gone by the spirit i trust that within the time we have tomorrow we'll have the opportunity to just speak lord we honor you for tonight we declare that jesus alone be glorified we thank you for what you are doing we thank you for our father let the impact of tonight prepare the way for tomorrow and adding upon the various graces that have been here i thank you lord because you are truly shifting us experientially to a realm of dominion in jesus name god bless you Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 